Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome. My name's Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty. I'm here today with a testing makeup video which I'm so so excited about. Spoiler! This is the outcome of testing the makeup, so you'll have to stick around if you wanna see what I've used and what my thoughts were. But the way that I do these videos is that I pop the makeup in my stories on Instagram. My Instagram is just Miss Trina Louise, in case you wanna follow me. And I ask you guys to vote to see which piece of makeup you'd like to see me test. So I'll put a couple of eyeshadow palettes up and you'll pick which one. So if you wanna get involved in things like that, just make sure you follow me over on Instagram because it's easier for me to do those kind of things over there. The fireworks are going a little bit crazy tonight. You will have to deal with some fireworks as you go through this video. So if that's something that is something you struggle with, this might not be the one for you. I know that fireworks and the loud noises um, are difficult for some people or it might be difficult for your pets. So maybe if it's difficult for your pets, maybe pop some headphones in for this video because there's, there's just one now. Come on, shh. <laughs> but yes, I'm so excited to show you the products that I've tested out today and to show you how I got this green look. So before I get started, if you are new here and you like the sound of plus size fashion and beauty content, then please do subscribe. We would love to have you join my wonderful family over here on YouTube. And yeah, let's get started and see how I did this look. So I've zoomed you in so we can see what's going on with my face. The first product that I have got to try is from Illamasqua and this is the Hydravail Rehydrating Gel. This is a product I have wanted to try for the longest time but I've never wanted to like splurge out on it. So when I got this in a subscription box, I think it was Glossy Box, or oh, look fantastic, probably Glossy Box, I was over the moon. So it's just got a really strange gel-like consistency and I guess you just get some out and rub it on your skin but I really don't know how much of this to use and it's like a proper jelly consistency that's really strange so I guess I'll start off with this and see what happens oh it's really like gel like oh god okay so it is just going into the skin I feel like I probably had just about enough there could have maybe used the teeny tiniest bit more don't really know how to get <laughs> a tiny bit more because it's just like a gel. So it's always hard to tell how a primer's gonna be, but it feels tacky, which I like. It feels a bit hydrating, but not crazy hydrating. But I do feel like I've got a glow to the skin, so hopefully that will shine through my foundation. So for foundation, we're gonna use a tried and true foundation because I really wanna test out the um, primer and the concealer that I'm using today. So I'm gonna use a setting powder and a foundation that I know and love because otherwise I wouldn't know which product was working and wasn't working, if that makes sense. So I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, which is my favorite foundation at the moment. But what I will be testing out is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. So I have heard amazing things about this sponge. So I'm very excited to give it a go. It has the usual sort of egg shaped sides with a pointy tip. And then it's got this really sharp edge, which is gonna be really good if you want to contour. I don't tend to contour, I just tend to bronze, but this could be really good for getting right up into the eye for concealer. So I'm gonna go and wet this now and see how much it grows. So this is what the sponge looks like once it's wet. It has definitely grown and it feels really nice and soft and squidgy. It feels like the kind of sponge that I'm really gonna enjoy. So I'm just gonna pop my foundation on now. I've got mine in the shade zero. 3 True Ivory. So I'm really enjoying this sponge. It doesn't feel like it's soaked up too much of the product at all. In terms of the primer, it's hard to say, we're gonna have to report back on that because with primers, you've kind of got to see how it affects your foundation and your makeup as it goes throughout the day. But what I can say is that at the moment, it's looking really nice. It looks quite smooth, I would say, which is quite nice. It looks maybe a 
tiny bit more glowy, but I'm not 100% sure. So we will definitely have to see. Yeah, I think it's got a little bit more of a glow. So we'll have to see how it goes throughout the day. For concealer, I am retesting an old favorite of pretty much everyone and it is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Now Collection have recently re branded a lot of their products and repackaged them. So one of those is the concealer. This is the cult classic concealer that everyone knows and loves. I've got this in the shade Porcelain 2. It was hard to know which shade is the right shade because I couldn't test in the shop and they've kind of changed the name, the, like the names of some of the shades. So it was quite hard to know, but I feel like this will hopefully be a good shade. This is meant to be smudge proof budge proof and transfer proof and it's super cheap as well so I'm excited to give this a go. I'm really picky about base products so foundation, concealer and setting powders I'm super super picky because of my dry skin so I'm intrigued to give this a go. So that's the concealer blended in. I think it blended quite nicely. It feels like it could be a teeny bit drying. So we will have to see how it goes. I really struggle with under eye concealers because I've got some really deep set wrinkles under my eyes and I find that they crease quite badly. So I usually tend to mix a bit of a hydrating and a bit of a matte concealer together. So we will have to see how that goes. I've got a couple of little red marks that are just peeking through my foundation. So we might see what the cover is like like we've got this one here let's see if this does anything in terms of coverage it's definitely too light for my skin <laughs> uh, for, for this kind of concealing like you can still see it peeking through let me go in with a concealer brush this is the Zoeva 142 concealing brush and then I can kind of like dab it to try and keep some of the um, coverage and then blend it with the sponge. So it's not the most full coverage of concealers to be honest. I'm probably just going to go over with a little bit of my foundation just so it doesn't look like I've got a really strange light spot on my face. So I think it's looking okay under my eyes but it's definitely not my favourite for spot concealing like you can still see the redness peeking through so this might be more of a light medium kind of coverage it doesn't say what coverage it is so that's fair so now i'm just gonna set my face and under my eyes with <laughs> it's already like rubbed off because i've used it so much this is the i heart revolution coconut baking powder this is my favorite setting powder at the moment which is quite a tough Thing to achieve for a powder because I'm really really picky with my powders. I'm just going to use under my eyes a brush from a new brand that I've been trying out. It's called EIG Show so I don't know if it's Ig Show or Egg Show um, but they sent me a load of brushes through. I got a load of face brushes and a load of eye brushes. Let me get them all. So I don't know if this is all of them, but they sent me a full set of brushes to try and I've been really enjoying them. Um, so I'm probably gonna use a couple of those today. I've been really enjoying this one specifically for under the eye powder. This is the tapered brush in F627. It's just really nice for getting right under the eye and setting it. I'm not gonna set my eyelids, which I normally would, because <laughs> we're gonna go in with an eye primer first. But yeah, I think the concealer is looking okay at this point. To set my face, I'm gonna go in with the large powder brush. This is the F619. I'll leave all these linked down below. This is a huge, huge powder brush, which I've been really enjoying to set my foundation. So that is my base set. I'm happy with how it's looking at the moment. Now we are going to go in with bronzer and I'm really excited because I'm finally trying the cult classic NARS Laguna bronzer. This is the bronzing shade that NARS is known for. I've just got a sort of mini sized edition, edition, mini sized version of it. So this is what it looks like, which I think is plenty enough. I think this is a really good size actually, because whoever goes through a full, full bronzer, it's very rare. So I'm excited to give this a go. The shade looks, 
a tiny bit dark for me, but I think if I go in with a light hand or a light brush, we can hopefully make it work. So I like that. It is a little bit darker than I tend to go for and a little bit more pigmented. I like a bronzer that you can really build up, but I think it doesn't look too orange. I mean, I'm under my studio lights at the moment, so <laughs> I'll have to see and you'll have to tell me in the comments below if I'm like wrong. <laughs> but from what I can see, it looks a bit darker than I would normally go for, but not ridiculous. I'm just going to take my powder brush and just blend it in a little bit so it's not quite so dark on my face okay okay i think i like that so moving on to blush i'm so excited i'm so excited about trying this product we have got the blush glow duo from natasha denona which is just ridiculous natasha denona is a crazy expensive high-end brand and this is my first product from them you didn't let me try the highlight in this we've got a different highlight to try so we're just trying the blush today but the highlight looks amazing as well we've got a gorgeous champagne highlight in here and a really pity pity pretty pink blush so I'm very excited to give this a go it's a tiny little pan <laughs> pretty it isn't really like crazy pigmented which is good because I don't like that in a blush but it's got a really nice glow to it that's really pretty let me see if you can see it if I swatch it it's got a really nice glow to it so I like that actually I think I just look really healthy and glowy and I feel like I look like I've just been on the beach in the sun so sorry if my camera has moved at all my battery wanted to die <laughs> so now we're moving on to my second favorite part of the process i'd say eyeshadow is my favorite and highlighting is definitely in a close second you picked the pretty little glow from doll beauty i've got mine in the shade i guess it's pretty little glow i guess that's the shade it is a gorgeous golden pinky highlight looks beautiful so it is gold but it's got like a shift of pink it's just there so hopefully you can see that i know my lights are a little bit bright because you know we have to film in the dark these days <laughs> there's also fireworks going off it was bonfire night like two nights ago it's the seventh today right yeah it's the seventh when i'm filming so you know stop with the fireworks i love them and they're pretty but i'm trying to film <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with this highlight i love that it says make them stare on the mirror i'm just going in with my morphe m451 brush this is the brush i love to highlight with so i'm gonna get quite a bit on and then just tap off any excess and then we're gonna glow hopefully <laughs> That's pretty. It's definitely fireworks like right outside my window. <laughs> you can definitely see it's got quite a bit of gold in it. So it might be the teeniest bit too dark for my skin tone. But when I blend it in and we've got a load of eyeshadow on, <laughs> it's not gonna matter anyway. So it is quite gold and quite intense. It's pretty, but I'm just gonna sort of disperse it a little bit because it is a little bit golden on my skin tone. I like the highlight, but I don't know if you can see it when I'm looking straight ahead. Like I like the formula, but I'm not sure it's the right shade for me, if that makes sense. It's a bit more golden than I thought. It looks a bit more pink in the pan and a bit more golden on the skin. Like it looks really pink on my hand. So, hmm, I'm not sure on that one. I feel like if I had this in a different shade, I might enjoy it a little bit more because I love how glowy it is and it looks super pretty on the skin but I'm just not sure that this is the right shade for me. You'll have to let me know if you've tried any more from Doll Beauty. They're a brand that I really really want to try more from. Like they're not too expensive, they're a UK based brand which is really nice, they're a northern based brand which is even nicer <laughs> um, but I really want to try more so maybe I just need to pick up 
a highlighter in a different shade but let me know what your favorite doll beauty product is so now it's time to start on the eyes and first of all we've got an eyeshadow base to test we've got the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place eyeshadow base now I do normally just use a concealer as an eyeshadow base but I've got quite a few eyeshadow bases in my testing drawer at the moment so I'm excited to give some a go this is how the Estee Lauder one looks it's just in a pot has it got a shade I don't think it does so let's see what it looks like on the skin it is you probably can't see it but it's really quite a thin almost waxy consistency I don't think it's going to be one that adds much color which is good if they don't have other colors of this I'm not 100% sure it might be one that kind of blends out and is more of a tacky base for the eyeshadow to stick to so we will have to see I'm just going to get some on my Zoeva concealer brush and then I'm going to pop that on the lid and blend it out there is a bit of pigment to it actually so hopefully there are other shades available I'll have a look online and um we will see once I've done this. So yeah, I feel like it's definitely provided a bit of coverage and it is a little bit tacky. So hopefully that's gonna help the eyeshadows stick. Let's, let's have a quick look before I do the other eye. Yeah, it does seem like this is the only shade. So I'm not sure that this would work on darker skin. Although I guess maybe you want might want a lighter base to put your shadow on so the colors stand out more but i'm not 100 percent sure about that um it doesn't provide the most amount of color but there is definitely a bit of coverage there so i kind of think they should have done it um in a couple of different shades at least to be honest so that is the eyeshadow base i'm not overly keen on the way it's sort of looking on my eye at the minute um, but we'll have to see because the proof is in the pudding and I don't usually use eye bases so I need to give it a fair test before I give an opinion. So for eyes, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. We have got the Huda Beauty Emeralds Obsession Palette which is beautiful. It's some gorgeous greens with a bit of a brown and some more like bluey greens is it like a teal and this just looks beautiful and I'm so excited I really want to try more green eyeshadows so I'm very excited to give this a go I might zoom you in a tiny bit more not too much just a tiny bit there we go you'll definitely be able to see what I'm doing now so I'm going to take this blending brush which is the E812 and I've been really enjoying this for popping colour in the crease and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm just going to build it up in my crease and just see what happens. It's not a tutorial, it's it's a testing video so if it doesn't go perfectly right it's, it's not a tutorial, we're just having fun. We're just friends playing with makeup and seeing what happens. You know what I should have done? Put the base on one eye and not on the other. <laughs> I don't like how it feels tacky. I'm used to a concealer that I then set so it feels more smooth whereas this feels a little bit like sticky on the brush. I mean it's going now that I've got some shadow down so maybe I should have set it, I don't know. Um, but we'll have to see. Yeah, this shade is quite a light shade but you can definitely build it up. It's taken a little bit of building though almost pastel like let's give it a swatch so it does look a bit pastel actually yeah even when I swatch it it's really quite light so it's probably to be expected there's so many fireworks I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not so keen on how much of this I'm having to use to build it up it's yeah it's quite a light shade but I've managed to build it up by packing a lot on it's a more bluey green um which I guess it kind of looks like it looks a bit like turquoise so that is absolutely fine but now we're going to go in with this gorgeous deeper green and we're going to pop that on the outer third of our eyes and into the crease a little bit but I think this is a beautiful shade again it's a bit more blue but it is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I'm excited to put this on my eyes. To do that, I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is stained pink, and this is the E811 blending brush. That's pigmented. <laughs> that is super pigmented. I 
never claimed to be a makeup artist. I just claim to be someone who likes to play with makeup, okay? Before anyone comes at me for my blending. <laughs> Just gonna take a clean brush to try and blend things a bit. This is the Spectrum B07 Spectrum Make, my favorite brushes of all time. I am really, really enjoying these and they are quite similar. They do feel quite similar actually, but I just, Spectrum has a special place in my heart. I got this in this month's glossy box, which was really, really nice. So it's brand new, completely clean. So I'm gonna use this to just blend a little bit. I feel like that's the trick to eyeshadows. You just have to switch between colors, in and out, blend and pack, blend and pack until you just get to the place where you're like, that'll do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bear with it until we put a shimmer on. So, what shimmer am I gonna use? I feel like it's between this one, this one, and this one. So we'll swatch all three. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't drop your blue eyeshadow on the carpet. Don't tell Adam. <laughs> so this is what the free shimmers look like. They are beautiful. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need to add more of a green shimmer because I need to add a bit more green to this look that's turning out quite blue at this point. So I think I might go for a mixture of the two more green shadows. Yes, let's do that. So to pop on these shimmers, I'm gonna be using the E827, which is just called an eyeshadow brush, but it's quite a flat, densely packed brush. So we'll try without setting spray first, and then we'll try with setting spray if we need to, and then we can try with our fingers. But I'm gonna go in with the darker shade, this one, first across my lid. Pretty, it's pretty. It's really glittery, but like not in a chunky way. I like the shade a lot. And I'm just covering most of my eyelid where the eyeshadow isn't at this point. But not all the way into the inner corner because I'm gonna lighten it up with brighten it up with the um lighter shade. Sometimes the shimmer just fixes everything. Your eyeshadow look, your mood your life <laughs> and that's without me even using any setting spray so I'm very impressed with the shimmer okay so now I'm going to take some of this lighter green shade and just pop it in the really inside part of my eye that's more glittery oh, oh so pretty so sparkly I'm really enjoying this palette I feel like Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell wears green, right? I feel like Tinkerbell. So I'm just going to blend a little bit just to make everything a little bit more seamless, but I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so now I'm going to go in on the lower lash line and I'll probably use what brush? I might use the short shader, which is E806, and then go in with a blending brush just to blend things out a little bit. And I'm gonna use a mixture of this green and this green. So that is the eyeshadow. I'm not 100% happy with the blend, to be honest. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but you know what? It's fine. We, we're in a safe space. We're in an experimental place, <laughs> but I am obsessed with those shimmers. They look absolutely gorgeous. So I think it is definitely time to pop on some mascara. Oh, before we do that, setting spray. <laughs> so for setting spray, I've got the Lacura Makeup Setting Spray, and this is a long lasting formula. So Lacura is the Aldi makeup brand. They tend to try and dupe other makeup brands, to be honest, but I was excited excited to see that they had a setting spray and it's in a gorgeous purple bottle so I'm excited to give this a go let's see what the spray is like it's intense but it's nice and fine it smells nice as well not too heavily scented but quite nice I think that's going to be a really nice mister let's give this a go you do have to be a little bit further out because it's quite intense at short range, but from about here, 
my, I'm quite zoomed in <laughs> from about here. It's a really nice mist. Oh, I like that. I feel like it's just made my base melt in together in a really pretty way. Obviously, we have to test this out over a longer period, but <laughs> I'm liking it so far. Let's do mascara. So for mascara, I am super, super excited because I have got the brand new Huda Beauty mascara. It is called Legit Lashes. I've heard so much about this. It's expensive. I think it was like £24, but you do get two mascaras in one, essentially. <laughs> So you get a side that is a volumizing side and then you get a curl and lengthening side. So let's see what the two brushes look like. So the curl and lengthening one has fibers in the formula and it is a curled short bristle wand. Let's see what the lengthening side looks like. This is interesting. So again, it's a plastic bristled wand with short bristles, but it's like goes in and then out. This is interesting. So we're gonna obviously try both. I think we'll go in with curl and length first and then we'll go in with volume on top. <laughs> I always get mascara on my face. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely doing something. It's definitely like um, lengthening a little bit. Like I don't think I'd like this one by itself because I prefer a I'm a fan of the clumpy lash. I'm just gonna say it, I'm a fan of a clumpy lash. But we'll give it a bit of time and we'll build it up. Yeah, I'd say this side on its own, like it's pretty. You can definitely see there's a bit of length and a bit of curl, but it's not my favorite. So I'll do the other side and then I'll come back with the volumizing side and we'll see if that makes it more what I'm looking for. So that is the coat of the lengthen and curl side. Now let's go in with this volumizing side, which is exciting me a little bit more. So let's see if that can help build a bit of volume into my lashes. You can see they're definitely getting more voluptuous. So that is the side that has got the volumizing side and that has just the curl and length. I feel like it's definitely doing something but I've put a lot of mascara on. So if you don't like clumpy lashes, this might not be for you because they are starting to get a little bit clumpy with the amount of mascara I've had to put on. But like I said, I don't mind. <laughs> So that is the top lashes done. I'm probably going to go in with the curl and lengthen side on my bottom lashes because I don't like those to be too, um, have too much volume and be clumpy. I like my lower lashes to be less intense. So I'll use the other side. So that's what it looks like on the lower lash. I don't like the fact that this has fibers in for the lower lash. I enjoyed them for the upper lash, <laughs> if that makes sense, top lashes, um, but not so much for the bottom lash. But I do think that it, they don't look too clumpy, so it's not too bad. I just had to take a fiber off where I felt like it looked a little bit strange having such a long lower lash for me. So that's the lashes done. I do like the way that they look. I just had to work really hard to get to this point. I had to put a lot of mascara on, but I do think that they look quite nice. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I would say I did enjoy it and I would definitely use it again. It's just probably not one for days where I need to just like coat it on and then go, because you saw I had to put a lot of coats on to make it work, but I think it just brings the eye look together. We have to have faith when we're doing eyeshadow because it always goes a little bit crazy before it gets to the place that we want it. So I think the eyes are looking super pretty. So now we'll move on to the lips. I brought over my pot of lipsticks that I've got to try because you never know what shade you're gonna want until you've finished your eyeshadow. Well, that's how I work anyway. So I think I want a brown lipstick. So let me see what I've got that's brown. Okay, we've got another NARS product to try. I have got the Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Mars. And this looks like it could be a good brown shade. Let's swatch it on the hand. 
Yeah, I think that should work. It's quite a velvety, obviously that's the name, texture. So it's a bit glossy, but it's not like completely opaque, if you can see. It's kind of like the soft velvet, soft touch velvet lips from uh, NYX, you know, the famous ones. Um, so it's not gonna be the most full coverage and it's probably gonna need topping up. It's not like a liquid lipstick that's gonna stick around, but I think it could be quite nice with this look. So let's give it a go. I'm not a fan of this. I'm finding that it's kind of like, um, inconsistent with like the uh, it's patchy that's the word it feels a bit patchy like there's some places where I've got a lot of color and there's some places where it looks a lot more opaque and no matter what I do it seems to sort of stay the same like patchy like I've managed to make it more consistent maybe it's fine I don't know I'm struggling with this one you know what the more I look at it I'm, I'm getting used to it it's just a different formula. I'm not a glossy lip fan usually and I like a lipstick that I put on and it stays where it is and I don't have to worry about it whereas this like has movement in it. I feel like I'm getting used to it and I like that it's got a little bit of gloss to it. It's not my favourite by any way shape or form but I feel like it's something I could get used to. I don't think I'll run out and get another one of these but yeah it feels like it's dried down a little bit but it's still really like movable on the lips. So it's really comfortable, but I feel like with it having dried down a little bit, maybe the base colors kind of stuck where it is a little bit more kind of like stained the lips, um, which is maybe why I'm feeling a bit more used to it and okay. So many fireworks. <laughs> I've just filmed some of the fireworks so you can see what I'm having to contend with right outside my window. But what I was saying is, I think I've got used to it. I've made it work for me, but it's not my favorite. So this is how the look has turned out. I'm really, really enjoying this look overall. I love the eyeshadow. It's definitely more of a bluey green palette than a pure green palette, I think. The shimmers are just oh, so gorgeous. I love the shimmers so much. I love how much sparkle is in them without it being like a really chunky glitter. So I really like the way that's turned out. I'm not the biggest fan of the lips, we know this. We just talked about that. We don't need to go on anymore. I really like the bronzer and the blush as well. The highlight, I feel like I just need it in a different shade to give it another go, but I think it looks really pretty. I just think the shade might not have been perfect. So that is everything that I have to test out today. You'll have to let me know what you think. What do we think of the eye look? Have I done an, have I done an okay job? I don't think I've done the best job, but I think I've done I've done okay and I really like the way the eyes have turned out. You'll have to let me know what you thought of all the products in the comments down below. What's your favourite product? What were you not impressed by? Have I tried anything that you've tried? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I'd just love to know your thoughts but I'd say the winner, the winner is this palette by far and I'm so excited to play with it more. So thank you so much for watching and bearing with all the fireworks goodness gracious me <laughs> but we got there in the end thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed it if you want to give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and if you want me to do more of this kind of testing makeup video let me know because i had so much fun and i could do more for sure and if you're not already subscribed if you fancy joining us over here i'd love to have you thanks so much and i'll see you next time bye